Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the FIFA 23 Everton Career Mode. And today, we're actually on episode 5. I can't believe we're going this long. Um, and I can only thank you a lot for that. The amount of support you've been giving me is immense. I mention it every single episode, but you, you don't understand how much it means to me. Um, it's definitely thriving the series to carry on. It's definitely giving me motivation to get up every day and record an episode each and every single day. To try and get it out for you. But, uh... Yeah, it was a decent episode, last episode. If you've not watched it, please go watch it. The playlist uh, to the full series is in the description. So if you've missed a single episode or you're, you're clocking onto episode 5, make sure you go back and watch the rest. But for the people that have actually watched the series so far and are up to date, I've seen the last episode. It wasn't too bad of an episode. I mean, we drew to Chelsea, which we should have won. Um, we were due to Liverpool, which, yet again, we should have won. And then just the Wolves game let us down massively. We lost to Tottenham as well in the Cup, but I played a rotated 11. But the, uh, the, the Wolves game really changed my mind on these play attacking early highlights. I mean, they're a good feature. They're just hard. So these are the games that we've got coming up in today's episode. I'll tell you what, it's not a bad run of fixtures. And it could be, hopefully, the run of games that get us really on form. I mean, we've got Arsenal, a difficult game, especially away from home. In real life, they are no doubt title contenders. What Mikel Arteta is doing with the Arsenal team is unbelievable. So respect to them for that. And then we've got Bournemouth. We've got Southampton. Two games. We should be getting six points on. I mean, even Southampton we managed to beat away from home in real life. Um, so up the toffees. And then depending on the length of the video, because you lot said you wanted longer videos, I might play the Palace game as well. Um, just so I could try and catch up. Because like I said, I do want to play multiple seasons. I'm me uploading every single day. That will definitely aid that. But then at the same time, I can try and play more than one month in one video, especially if you are wanting longer videos. I said I went messing about, and we are already at the first game of today's episode. We are against Arsenal away from home. It is going to be a difficult game. I can't exaggerate that enough. I mean, looking at the team, we've got Gabriel Jesus up front. He is going to be dangerous. Hard to stop, but hopefully our defence is as good as it is in real life. Hopefully we can stop him. I mean, they've even recruited Tapsoba. They've recruited to the team, so that's looking good. But the starting 11, pretty much what they play in real life. As they're pretty much the same, just a couple of new differences. And uh, hopefully, I'm just hoping for a point at least. I don't want to lose this game. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Yep, Conor Cody's different gravy. Emil Smith Rowe, have a bit of that lad. Ah, Conor Cody got sent here to be fair. Oh my god, that is such a simple ball. I just put, oh, thank god. I generally believe that will go in. Come on, then we'll counter attack. It's open. DCL, great run. That is unbelievable. Play Marshall. Play him back. Okay, it's going to Nana. That is. That would have been an unbelievable goal if that went in, but I mean, evidently it didn't. God was making that run. Outside of the boot cross. Okay, it's not. D good touch. DCL. What if it is that? Wait, is that onside? It is. What a finish. That were a lovely bit of teamwork there. Anthony Gordon with an incredible ball into the box. I tried to do it with the Travella to try and get a bit of pace on it, but I can't really criticise that. That's a great touch by DCL. Works with what he's got. Anyway, an identical finish to Dwight McNeil's against Southampton last night. Unbelievable finish. That is a great bit of play there, to be fair. I just get... My one problem with defending on this game, and it's not even just this game, I was saying on 522, I get dragged out of position so often. I take the bait, and it's, it does me over in them situations. I've just got to learn... Great tackle. Oh, wait, what? Well, has he not won that? I mean, that one I can't complain about. Seamus Coleman got the ball and he just sponged off his leg. All right, then. I'm 2 1 down out of a game that I was heavily in control of. <laughs> Thanks for that. Defend this corner. I thought we were playing shot. Got it. So you're telling me Gabriel Jesus can beat Conor Cody in the air and I'm going to do an honour. It will be. Wait, is that onside? He's got one against his former club. Come on, get ball. Get ball. Yes, lad. He, I can always rely on Alex Iwobi. Gordon. Great touch. Again. Is it in? How have you missed that? Anthony, you did all the hard work just for that. Oh, that's my way to get back in it, man. Arsenal free kick. And that was a very fine read. Dominic Cavett Lewin. Finish. That is outrageous. That is one of my favourite goals I've scored on FIFA. It's not even there's nothing special about it, but the fact that he's won it back, he's pressured him on a heavy touch, 
and they're finished like that. I'm surprised the game's not tried to con me out of it by giving them a foul like they normally do. That is brilliant. The amount of space got, I thought you were going to butcher the finish. But that pressure on the heavy touch, I've not got no instructions for that. That were brilliant. Oh my god, we're going to get it on camera. It's nice to come in it. Come on, get the ball. Oh, I'll tell you what, I think the, the point was fair. I conceded some awful goals, but... Mate, that DCL, I can't speak highly enough for that. That was brilliant. Second game of the episode, we all against Bournemouth at Goodison Park. And uh, I never learn. I am going to be playing attacking other highlights. I feel like, well, we should batter these. But um, if we don't, then I'm definitely coming away from this. We're all playing the strongest 11. There's no rotation needed because they're all fit. They're all ready to go. I trust this team to get the job done. Let's hopefully we can do that. 30th minute, everything attack. We're still nil nil. Thank God for that. If I'd have been 1 0 down in the 30th minute, I probably would have cried. Great ball. DCL. Done. I'm going to say you don't doubt him in those situations, but evidently you should do now. I mean, I meant the finishing, not the injuries. Come on. Anthony Gordon. Curl this there. Yeah. I'm never going to be able to get used to them. Patterson. Is that Patterson? No. Who was that? Tarkowski. Don't know why I thought that was Patterson. I don't even start him. We'll whip it in. Corner again. Do we get the corner? Still nil nil. 35th. Oh my god, I can't speak. 33rd minute. This is how chaos these is. Anthony Gordon. I am actually making no English sense right now. And I'm absolutely fluffing my lines on FIFA as well. Come on. We've, we're 1-0 down. Great. Great. Come on then. Gordon. We've got to make that run. He has. It's an awful, but what am I meant to do in those situations? Oh, I've won it back as well. What am I meant to do in those situations? I've, I've played the right ball. I've just done it wrong. If that were a 90 minute game and I got the opportunity, it's a perfect ball, but because it's these, they fluff it. He will be. I will be. It's fluff that as well. I've lost as well. I've lost 3 0. I have lost 3 0 to bot. We're never playing them ever again. Awful feature, removal for the game. That was shocking. Next game, we're moving off fast with the fixtures. I mean, first of all, we're changing kits because. I'm not going yellow against these. I will go with the blue kit because, I mean, we haven't got the kit clash with the shorts. We are away from home. I am staying far away from the attack only feature. I'm going with the player highlights. So I'll be doing the defending and attacking in this game. So hopefully we don't lose 3-0 because I actually can't believe I just lost 3-0 to Bournemouth at home. Uh, so first opportunity actually is an Everton attack. Whip that in. I swear to... Really? Really? John Pickford. You've saved 100% of penalties we've faced so far. It's just what he does. Okay, we've got to defend again. What is going on? Am I playing a tactic that the AI just don't agree with? Because in these, I'm always defending or I'm always losing. Great defending, Cody. Okay, now we've got a counter-attack. So obviously, on these ones, I'm not going to get surprised that oh, Southampton are 1-0 up because I do defend their opportunities. That is an unbelievable ball, Gordon. You've got to run on top, though. We'll play DCL in. DCL. Great turn. That is... Okay. <sighs> I've generally thought we're going to get robbed of this game. He's got to finish this, though. I know he missed the last one he had, but still. Green timed it. Top left corner. Goalkeeper's got... I give up. I generally give up 68th minute. I'm going to draw this. I know I am, because I don't... I'm awful at these. I really am awful. I just don't want to go to the simulations that I normally do because they're just boring and there's definitely no control. Great bit of play. A will be. Great finish. Okay, I tried to be cocky. I'm going to do an honour. Great touch. Cut it back. Pen it in that ref, surely? Southampton. Where's defenders then? Why do I never get this opportunity? I've got no fast defenders. What is this? I swear he's offside. He's butchered it. Good. You deserve that. You've absolutely butchered that. Well done. Come on, free kick for Everton. I'll tell you what. Why not? I'm actually going to try and whip this one in. If I aim it there, it's obviously going to be a curled inside at foot. I've put too much power on that. No, I am. I'm for the Gordon. He's won it as well. Okay, it's not a draw. Oh my god, I thought they were going to blow this all. Alex Awobi. Come on. There's no one in box. There is. Where's this crossing opportunity coming at? There it is. DCL. He's won it. 
straight at the goalkeeper. It's just tipped it over. Free kick for Everton. There's no, the, on the last FIFA, give me all these free kicks all you want. I were unbelievable at them, but can you stop giving them a please on this FIFA? That's offside. DCL, why are you offside there? Why are you offside? We've carried it on. Okay, we'll take it. Oh, lovely turn of pace, Alex Awobi. Mikalenko, I need you there. Yes. Oh, he's won it again, man. It's a draw. I don't know what to do. I'm going to have to just either simulate or because... The opportunities that you get on these are awful. There's nothing you can do unless you are played through entirely one-on-one. -on -one. And I don't know if it's because I need to get used to them or what, but I am... Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to give up on them. Moving on to the last game of the episode. We are against Crystal Palace at home. I'm going to be playing the full match because I can't risk it with the highlights. Yes, with the defending ones, I can defend for a draw. But uh, the attacking ones, it's a scoring. It's the opportunity to get the roll awful. But full match. Hopefully three points in this one because... Have we got three points in this episode? I don't think we have. Oh, I've got an awful memory. But hopefully, this can be the first or second time we get three points in this episode. How? How has he still got the ball? Great tackle again. I've actually managed to keep it this time. Well then, Gordon, beat you, man. Yeah, he has. That Nathaniel Klein, he's got him on toast. Here it is. Got him on toast. Anthony Gordon, great run. Can he match it with a finish? Of course he can. Never doubt Anthony Gordon. It's an awful face scan. Like, seriously, EA, what is that? But besides that, unbelievable. Beat Nathaniel Klein, he's no doubt about that. And then the lovely finish. Some doubt about the finish. But um, it proved me wrong, just like it probably pro proved a lot of you wrong. But 1-0 up. We actually might have to just play every single match in this uh, career mode save. Oh, my God. Connor Cody. I've said it before. I'll say it again. He is unbelievable. I'm definitely going to have to get him in a permanent because he is just something else. Anthony Gordon. Lovely ball. Anthony Gordon has been top class. But DCL. Yeah, I don't know how much he could do. I can't really blame him. That would have been a great goal. Great. Connor Cody is everywhere. He is a rash. Marshall. Okay. He's done well to keep hold of that. Well cut back. Ah, I don't know what to do. Whack it with his left foot. Well worked goal. I'll tell you what, that was an unbelievable well worked goal. Seamus Coleman, Anthony Marshall working up right up the... Uh, right wing and then the lovely bit of play in the box never rushed it got the finish off 2-0 do I simulate from here or do I carry on playing I'll simulate the rest if I concede or if I start getting panicky about if you're gonna not get the full three points then I will jump back in but uh yeah let's see if the AI is any better on this one and we're scored in a matter of seconds okay we will uh we'll just jump to result I was I don't know why I thought that's a 3-3 um we finally got three points in today's episode. I can end it here happily. As mentioned, I'm going to end the episode here. Hopefully you all have enjoyed. I apologise for the uh, awful bit of gameplay by me. I don't know what's been going on, but these highlights things, I loved them at first. They gave you really good opportunities. And now I'm getting done over. I don't know if it's my fault for the tactic I'm playing or I'm getting screwed over by here. But either way, probably going to stay away from them for quite a while. Thank you all for the support. Like I said, it's been immense. I keep saying it, but I generally appreciate it a lot. Um, this is what's making me pump these videos out every single day and I will carry on doing so as long as you lot enjoy watching them And yeah, thank you for watching take care stay safe and I'll see you all in the next episode